What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to uh, show up like a text message to interact uh, in a 3D widget uh, attached to your objects that you want to interact with. Uh, so it's going to be a very easy tutorial to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so first of all, I'm just going to make a quick like object or, you know, things to interact. Um, even though uh, today I'm not going to do the interaction, it's just the show the message, okay? Um, so I'm just going to do, for example, a door, okay? Even though um, this is not going to be any functionality. So I can just go into the content browser, right click, and go into blueprint class. And basically, I'm just going to create a, a, a normal actor so I can just place it in the scene. It's going to be a, a BP a door, for example, okay? Uh, I actually have a, an interaction door tutorial, so if you want to check it out, um, you know, I will leave it in the description. All right, so I'm just gonna add a static mesh. Um, of course, you know you can use whatever thing you want, even if it's a pickup uh, weapon or whatever. But yeah, uh, so it's gonna be the door and the door frame, and then I'm gonna move the door frame so it's a bit aligned onto the door. So what we want is to basically um, have a widget when we get close, okay, to it. So I'm just gonna go into the uh, default scene route and add a uh, box collision, okay? And this will be the um, widget uh, trigger, okay? So when we are, when the player reaches it, uh, we'll be able to interact with it. So you can roll it to be in the center. And then in here, in here we have like the shape options. So we can just increase the box extent. So let's uh, have something 50, 50, 50. Um, yeah, definitely will mean to make it uh, bigger. So you can just play with the settings to you know, have it as you want. And I'm going to do it pretty much like this, I think. Maybe a tiny bit uh, more like this. Yeah, kind of like that, okay? So now uh, you have to make sure that in your uh, widget trigger, if we go a bit down into... Um, collision presets it has to be set into overlap all dynamic okay and it will not generate like a block collision so you can go through but it will still detect like uh, objects entering okay all right so now uh, let's quickly set up just the events so later we can turn on and off the widget so uh, just down here we can see that we have a lot of uh, custom events for it so we're gonna use two today and it's gonna be the own component begin overlap so just add it and then we can select again the trigger and then we can add the own component and overlap okay so this is when uh, uh the player will enter and exit okay um so uh, we can leave this ready and in other actor we're gonna make a cast to bp third person or whatever you know um player you're using maybe first person or whatever it's gonna copy and paste this and it is um, just to make sure that the player is the one who is colliding and not any other object or enemy or whatever, okay? Okay, so um, once the um, we have detected, uh, we need to turn it on. So let's quickly make a UI for it. So uh, we can just go into content, uh, right click, user interface and widget blueprint, okay? We can use select user widget and then we can just put uh, WP uh, interact or, or whatever. So let's go ahead and open it. And there we go. So now we can uh, search for a canvas. Um, if we go and just drag it, if you already have a canvas, great. But Unreal Engine 5 doesn't create it by default lately. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, so I just get a uh, text from the common there. Just drag it and just kind of place it around the middle or whatever. Uh, we can uh, put it aligned into the center and put a text, for example, in uh, interact. Interact, there we go. And then I can increase the font a bit to make it a bit bigger. And then very important is to get the uh, like the anchors and put it into the centers here. So like I said, it, it will be in 3D, but we kind of have to make the UI uh, like if it was in 2D first, because then it will be stay. Of course, you can also do it uh, just to you know in 2D, but I think in 3D use looks a bit nicer. So now that we have basically uh, pretty much the UI done, uh, what we can do. Is, well, I mean, you can align it better if you want with you know, more settings, but it's okay for now. So we can use compound safe. So now we can go into the uh, blueprint door. And what we're going to do is select the default scene root again and just add a widget. Uh, widget. Here we go. And it's going to be just the widget, not the normal one, okay? So you can just name this whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it like this widget. And then on the widget class on here, we can uh, select 
the one that we just created, which is WP Interact. And now you can see that it actually has appeared. Now, maybe if you did a different scale, it might be like cropped or whatever. And also make sure that um, you are uh, selecting it and facing it uh, in the right direction. Because if not, um, you know, you maybe not see it and you're like, it doesn't appear. Well, maybe you're looking uh, into another direction, but we will also make that deal. We'll always look at the camera. Okay. So yeah, if the, if it's like cropped or whatever, because it's too big, just change the draw size and make it a bigger. Okay. In my case, 500 was, you know, uh, looking good. So you can just change the X and Y, but for me, it was looking good. So I'm going to uh, position it in a, um, kind of on here, something like that. There we go. And then I can use. Uh, rescale it and there we go it's kind of like this okay so now we can compound save and we're just gonna go into details and go into visible and use uh and um, uncheck that so it will be not uh, visible at the start and basically another thing that we're going to do is go back into the event graph now we're gonna uh, get the widget just drag it in here and then what we're going to do is drag here and set visibility okay so when we the enter uh, the player enters the you know the uh trigger what we're going to do you set the visibility to true and then we can copy this to notes paste it in here and then when the player gets out we will uncheck this so it will be false again uh so if we actually now get the door and just drag it uh into the scene there we go so if i press play and i come you can see that now the interact uh, text uh, appears and now I can uh, go and it disappears. So that's cool. Uh, now, of course, it will all only, you know, face and um, it will not face the camera. Okay. Uh, this is basically because, you know, obvious reasons we haven't <laughs> said to be. Uh, but if you like how it looks like attached to the wall, you can leave it like that. But I will just show you uh, how you can do it. So how we're going to basically do this is that we can just go uh, into the event tech. So we can just delete the other two ones. We can use the event tech. So every frame um, will basically uh, refresh the, the the rotation of the widget. Okay. So let's just go ahead and drag this and set uh, set world rotation. There we go and we will set the world rotation for the uh, widget. Okay. And if not, you can just drag it and plug it in. Okay. But anyway, for me, it just added there. So now on here, what we can do is drag this and say, uh, find look at rotation. Okay. So we can uh, plug in a starting point and an end point. So the uh, end point, which is the target will be our get, sorry, get player camera manager. Okay. So we'll just find the player's camera. Um, and then what we can do is get world um, location and it will just generate a transform components. Okay. And just plug that in into target and then in widget, which is the thing that we have to move. Uh, well, rotate, you drag this, say get a world rotation, sorry, uh, location to get world location and you just plug that in into the start. So now we compile and save and press play and we come near here. You can see that actually it will be facing the camera. So really cool guys. Now, of course, it will only face um, like right now. The text is only appearing in one part of the um, of the door. I mean, you could fix that. I mean, for an item, it will be good, but you could fix that if you would just, um, you know, made two um, triggers. So one for each side and two widgets for one on each side and you will just do exactly the same as we did on here but with both triggers okay but it's okay i'm gonna leave it uh you know, like this for now but yeah all right guys so that was the throw you found it helpful please uh i would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe the video i have lots of unreal engine fast throws so you want to check them out go ahead and also also um if you want to see any a specific unreal engine 5 video or tutorial or whatever uh go ahead and let me know uh in the comments so now yes with all that said bye bye